exciting, sixth studio album. Tell me about No Culture. No Culture, um, born out of an identity crisis. Okay. So it covers themes of authenticity to uh, facade. And musically, it sort of mirrors that process. It's, it's a true album. There's peaks and valleys right. and dark and light. So yeah, it's a personal record, but it's a really dynamic record too. When you said facade, what did you mean exactly by that? Um, well, sometimes facade can be the byproduct of things you pick up uh -huh. through societal influence or through, per se, your culture. Right. And so the idea is to have no culture as a means to connect deeper with your true essence, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, like how do I really feel? What do I really think? Do I like this music for me or am I just liking it because it's popular? This album, the writing was super personal for you on this one. Um, can you explain what that means? That means I gave up a lifestyle um, that involved a lot of debauchery. Mm -hmm. um, and in doing so, yeah, I was just struck by how little I felt like myself. I was like, wow. Unless I distort myself, I can't feel like myself, which is such a paradox. And so the writing mirrored that. It chronicled that uh, introspection. Um, and not even because I wanted it to. Part of me just, I just want to write about the world. I want to write objectively, but I can't because I'm too steeped in this personal episode. Mm. And so in a way, it was cathartic. Um, but it, it wasn't easy. You guys are coming as a team on this, and it's a little bit more personal. How? Are, you able to connect? Is there any challenges with that? Well, Ryan's my brother, so it's personal for me. His experience, right. his journey is like, it kind of helps bring me into it. It lets me share it with him. So I find it kind of easy to promote something that represents his journey, because it also includes me. Right. I was there, I experienced these things, and I still do. And it's great to see him as a person on a understand his own power without this mm -hmm. peripheral stuff and like yeah see him shine amazing a lot of <laughs> a lot of growth on this process then yeah totally yeah all right so let's talk the the dynamics of this band which is super dynamic in, in, in itself um your sister which is super cool to have and a protector i, I would assume just by the way she answers yeah, the yeah. questions <laughs> um, um, and an ex-girlfriend how does that sh sort of shape the way this band functions, the music, the vibe. Relationships that are, are rich and deep and that have weathered storms, mm -hmm. like a breakup, like inevitable sibling discord and rivalry, mm -hmm. are relationships that are really strong and confident as a byproduct. So today, after you know having experienced a lot of different things together and weathered storms, we feel just confident and powerful within the, the context of our personal relationships um, within the band. It makes it feel like moving forward is not a scary prospect. Right. Um, we know stuff is going to happen, things are going to go awry, there's going to be differences of opinions, but none of it seems all that scary uh, by virtue of what we've already gone through. I think it's just being able to be honest with somebody is right. rare. It's like. It's nice to be able to tell another person what you think without being worried that they're going to take it the wrong way. And I think if you've been in a relationship, a romantic one, or siblings growing up in the same environment, it allows you to not take, give the person the benefit of the doubt. You've right. been through all of this stuff together, so you can really hear what they're saying, criticisms or compliments. The drugs. I love the song. When you say you're better than the, the drugs I, I used to love, what's better? Truth? Truth. Yeah. In this case, truth is encapsulated in the metaphor of love. Okay. Yeah, on face value, it's romantic love in the song, but it's just the gateway to love via truth that's better than, say, artificial avenues to a facsimile of truth or right, love. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be drugs, you know, that's just, that's a good metaphor, that's a good meaty metaphor to pair with love in the context of a pop song. For sure. But you know, there's there's other layers to it than that. Thank you Thank guys. You. Thank you. Thank you very right. much. Take care. Thanks so much.